Only about 10% of the world's currency is physical, actual money you can touch. The rest lives on computers, which of course includes the cloud. Does this mean that my paycheck is then backed up multiple times? And can I get all of them paid out? You're watching Azure This Week, a show that would never change its pricing strategy without telling you, most likely. Cosmos DB supports a lot of APIs such as SQL, Cassandra, Gremlin, and Tables. There's also support for Python, Xamarin, Java, and much, much more. And MongoDB has always been a favorite with Azure NoSQL users. However, version 3.6 of the document database was released in November 2017, that is two years ago, and only now is it supported in Cosmos DB. Now, I'm not under you know, no illusion that it's easy to implement support for new versions, but two years? That's more than the entire lifespan of most cloud-based applications. And to put it in perspective, MongoDB version 4.2 is the current version. Only the cloud gods will know when that gets supported. 3.6 is definitely an improvement, but a bit more timely support wouldn't go astray. IoT Hub is the Azure offering to orchestrate and manage the communication between millions of devices and your IoT application. You get per device authentication, built-in device management, and scaled provisioning. All up, it's a pretty amazing product. The latest feature to grace IoT Hub is message enrichment. No, it isn't you know, for creating radioactive IoT messages, but rather to stamp additional information and enrich messages sent from IoT Hub with custom application properties per endpoint. In other words, you can send applications that rely on the IoT data custom messages as they need them. You can even integrate this with Event Grid for added microservice magic. Now, a few weeks back, I mentioned that Azure pricing from the 1st of November would be based entirely on the US dollar. This means local pricing can fluctuate as the exchange rate does as well. In other words, Microsoft wanted to be sure they weren't undercharging you, or overcharging for that matter. However, it does mean it becomes very difficult to budget for Azure spending if you are not in the US. As if cloud computing, you know, cost calculation wasn't hard enough. As we say on the A Cloud Guru team, when the cloud puns are getting out of control, seek and you shall cloud. So see you next week and keep being awesome cloud gurus.